Hey everyone, it's Desiree, and I'm here with another design team project for Birch Press Designs. This time, I'm going to use only one layer from the Aurora set. And the layer that I'm going to use is layer A. So you can see it's very fine, very detailed, um, and it is absolutely gorgeous. So there are many things that we can do with this. So I really dug into my scraps and I found what I thought were some really pretty fall colors. And yes, we're digging into the craft. So I pulled out the die and for each of these colors, I'm going to cut one of those images. So here's the green, the maroon, and the orange. And then it also has the center that comes out. So while these dies look solid, they are dull. So there's a lot more that you can do with them. Just got to get outside of that box. So I grabbed the piece of craft card stock and I'm just cutting some strips. I'm using my Fiskars and this is the nine inch trimmer. And I'm cutting strips an eighth of an inch, a quarter of an inch, three eighths of an inch. And I'm just going to town cutting strips because I wasn't quite sure how many I was going to need. And I wanted to make sure I had a bunch. So on my card panel, and this has been cut to be four inches by five and a quarter. I'm just going to adhere this down onto my mat with a, um, a piece of repositional tape. That was the word I was looking for. And I'm going to place it on an angle so that when I put my strips down, I can use the lines on my grid to make sure that all my strips are going straight. I'm then going to use my liquid adhesive to glue these in place. I didn't want to use a tape runner, um, only because I get tape all over the place. Basically, the glue stays on the paper. So that's why we chose the liquid glue. <laughs> Once they're all set, we're going to trim up the sides. I love this part. You know how people, you know, sometimes you love to watch the embossing powder melt. I love doing these strips and cutting them off the side. I don't know, it's kind of strange, but it's, it's fun. So pretty much what we just created was a background, like a, a pattern paper. Now think about that with red. Hmm. So I'm only using the larger, the outer part of the die cut, and I'm going to glue these in place. Now, since these are so thin, I just use dots. I, I don't try to go along the entire piece. I would just have glue everywhere. So I found that if I just put dots, it doesn't mean I don't get glue everywhere, but if I just use dots, it's less likely to go everywhere. Let's put it that way. I'm just going to use my fingers to make sure each of the areas are pressed down because again, I've got that craft card stock kind of raising them up a little bit. So I need to make sure that they're going to go down over that craft. Now I'm just adding more and more layers and I'm turning them as I'm laying them down. So the red went down, then the orange went in between the two loops of the red, and then the green's going to go in between those loops. So it's almost like a, a spiral. Does anybody remember the spirograph? I know. I'm probably aging myself, but I love that. I had a ball with that when I was a kid, many moons ago. Um, but that's what it kind of reminded me of. So I grabbed a piece of the maroon cardstock that I used, and I'm going to use my Versa, Versamark ink, and I'm going to use my white detailed embossing powder. And once that's melted, now the sentiments that I'm using, I'm using the sentiments from Birch Press called Just Because, and they also have a die that matches them. So if you've ever seen their sentiments, you know, they have some regular size and then they have these larger, beautiful font. They have dies for those, which is really cool. So in a strip, I have For Your Friendship, and then I die cut the word thanks. Now, the whole time I'm putting this card together, you're, yes, you are going to see me change something on this card. Once I have the sentiment down, 
I kept on looking at this. I'm putting it down onto my standard A2 size card base, uh, which is four and a quarter by five and a half top folding. There go my fingers. It, the thanks didn't look right. It was getting lost for me. There was a lot going on on this card, uh, very much so. Um, so I just needed to break it up. So I did have to take that thanks off. Now, I have, that is a two and a half, or excuse me, a two inch circle um, for that. I used my vintage photo around that because of course it's fall. The vintage photo ink is definitely out. And I also grabbed my dark brown, I believe it's called hot chocolate embossing powder from Nouveau. And that's how I emboss the thanks. I'm gonna prop that up using some double-sided foam squares and I'm gonna place that right down on the center. It looks a lot better, <clears throat> a lot cleaner. Um, everything does stand out for you. You can see the floral going around there a lot better. So these, of course, are the close-ups like we always show. So you can see, yes, we make changes as we create our cards and it's okay. Doesn't mean we have to start over. It just means we find a way to cover it up. And that's what we did here, but I did not lose all of the beautiful detail that comes from the die. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. You don't wanna miss any more videos that are coming out. If you have any questions or comments, please make sure you leave those down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All the products that I did use will be listed down below in the video description, along with the link to the Birch Press Design blog. It's a blog to definitely check out. There are some beautiful designs um, and very talented creators over there, so you wouldn't want to miss that either. So make sure you check that out as well. I hope everyone's having a great day. I hope everyone enjoyed their weekend, but remember what's most important, always be creative.